Uh, good morning, Titans, and welcome to West Happenings. I'm Isaac McDonald. And I'm Shelby Rhodes Long. Here's what's up for this week. Today is a regular advisory day. Are you a leader? Do you like to help others? Do you want to have a direct impact on making West better? Consider applying for leadership next year. Deadline to apply is Friday, April 28th. That's this Friday. There will be inf an informational meeting after school on Wednesday in T101 for anyone with questions. Scan this QR code for information. West Salem's Mock Trial Club is going to have a competitive mock trial interest meeting on the 25th of April in room D211 at 3.30. All are welcome to see what this amazing club has to offer and try out your trial chops. Starting soon, West Salem High School will be compo composting our food scraps instead of incinerating them. Food waste is a big contributor to the climate change, oh, to climate change, and we want West to do its part to reduce that. There will soon be green compost bins in addition to the gray trash cans in the cafeteria. Signs will tell you what can and cannot be composted, and handsome environmental club students will be available to help. If you help us out by sorting properly, our schools will be cleaner, leaner, and greener. So please do your part to help West Salem High School become a more climate conscious place. If you're interested in becoming a Titan cheerleader next season, tryouts are next week. Clinics are May 1st through the 4th, and tryout day is the 6th. There will be a clinic this Friday on the 28th. Congratulations to the West Salem High School students who won events at the Computer Programming um, Skills USA Leadership and Skills Conference. Kenneth Robertson took first place in computer programming at the Skills USA Oregon Leadership Skills Conference. By winning this event, he qualified to compete at the National Leadership Skills Conference at June. Also, congratulations to Alexia, who got third, I believe. For EMT, Jade Radish and Sadie Cavazos won first place and qualified for nationals in June. Elizabeth Guile and Maddie Wilch placed second. In first aid and CPR, Paige Bergman won first and qualified for nationals, and Trevor Williams secured second place. Firefighting did not place, but made a strong improvement from the previous year. Camden Hoover, Josh Gilmore, and Xander Bria participated. The pet of the week is Axel Hurd's dog named Pugsley. The West Salem Avid's diaper drive is ending this week. Here's an update. Hey Titans, I'm Kyler Miller. And I'm Ava Miller. As you know, West Avid is hosting a diaper drive. And we're still needing more donations. Remember, donations supports families that are in need here in our community. This just in, we have an update on West's donation. The teacher's class that is on track to winning either a pizza, donut, or Chipotle party is all written, with a collected total of 198 diapers and other needed items. Kilgore's class is close behind with a total amount of 184 donations. Third place, we have Bacchus's class, with 120 diaper donations. Here are some babies that are expecting more diapers. Looks like they could all use a change. If you want to win and help those lovely babies, you better get donating, because this is the last week to donate. Bring your donations, including diaper sizes 4 to 7 and other items such as pull-ups and wipes, to your second period class. Let's pamper and huggy these babies. Prom is coming up on Saturday. Tickets are on sale for juniors and seniors, plus one. Be sure to get the appropriate forms for you and your guests completed before April 29th. All forms are available in the Student Center. Environmental Club is looking for new leadership. If and only if you are a highly ambitious under underclassman who thinks they have what it takes to join the leadership team of the Environmental Club next year, please DM the announcements Instagram or email me, Isaac McDonald, if you are interested. 670-338. Isaac, my mom needs some plants. Do you know any way she could get them? I do know how your mom could get some plants. There is a plant sale from the West Salem Environmental Club. Right now, we have zucchinis, cucumbers, and basil um, and parsley on the way. They are $1 a piece and they are growing like freaking weeds to you. We'll drive them to you, we'll get them to you, so buy some plants. Um, you don't want to delay your gardening like you did last year and then your plants died. It's going to be sunny soon. Plant your plants. We got what, it, we got what you need. Texas number. Well. Wow. Back to you, Shelby. We here at West Happenings are always trying to improve. On May 9th, auditions for possible anchors for next year will be held during advisory breakouts in B105. Contact Mr. Mayor if you are interested, and you will be put on the list. Auditions will take place right here, where West Happenings are recorded each week. Scan this QR code to sign up. Outdoor School still has available student leader spots this spring. Learn leadership skills and have fun at Outdoor School. 
where you can earn community service hours for one week as a student leader. Visit the counseling office for sign up cards or visit <laughs> nwoutdoorschool.org to register online. Spots are available every week through June 2nd. Outdoor school gets me thinking about summer. Here's an incredible opportunity to get free audiobooks beginning this week through the summer. Two audiobooks are available each week through the Sora Reading app. April 27th through August 2nd, 2023. Scan this QR code to sign up. Saturday school is on April 29th from 8.30 to 11.30 a.m. Enter through the Dewing first floor doors and follow the signs to the classrooms. Be sure to scan this QR code to register. Well, you probably noticed there are more hours of daylight. That does not mean there are more parking spots. Please follow the rules of parking at West. Juniors and seniors in lower and far lots, staff and visitors, every other parking spot. Get permits from the student center. Remember, having a permit does not guarantee a parking spot. Leadership is honoring Autism Acceptance and Support Emphasis Month. Here is a video from Freshman Leadership. Now you can support the autistic people in your life. Part one. Number one, make an effort to understand autism. Now, no one's asking you to become a base of autism knowledge, but our brains are wired differently. So making an effort to understand that difference is going to make the world a difference. While this can mean doing a bit of research beforehand, i.e. watching my videos, <laughs> the most important thing is talking to the autistic person themselves and asking them what they need for support. Two, Communicate clearly. Did you know that 93% of communication is nonverbal? And as autistic people, we don't really understand nonverbal communication so well, meaning that we could be missing up to 93% of what you're saying to us. Speaking literally and speaking clearly is going to help all of us. With that being said, communication also means communicating about yourself and your feelings. The same way with any friendship, you need to be comfortable in articulating how you're feeling and what your needs are. If you want us to be somewhere to support you for something, tell us. If we've done something that hurts you, Tell us. Once again, I'm running out of time, so like part two. Yesterday was decision day, when seniors showed off their potential plans after graduation. Here are some athletes who have made some decisions as well. Salem Sports and Breakfast Club honored Mia Zachary and Madison Forrest as Athletes of the Week for this Friday, the 21st. Congratulations to both of you athletes. You make West proud. If you want your sports event highlighted, be sure to email Mr. Mayor with the info. Like Boys Volleyball. They will have tournaments on Thursday, the 27th, versus McKay. Be sure to follow their Instagram account, titan.boys.volleyball. Now on to sports. <laughs> <laughs> our girls golf competes Thursday, and our boys golf competes on Friday. Our boys tennis team plays McNary at McNary on Tuesday, and they play at home on Thursday. Our girls tennis team plays at home on the, tu on the Tuesday. On the Tuesday. And at South on the Thursday. <laughs> Our track team has a dual meet against McNary on Wednesday at McNary. Then on Friday, they head up to Jesuit for the Nike Jesuit Twilight Relays. Our baseball team plays Sherwood at Sherwood on the Thursday. <laughs> and the softball team plays South at South on Tuesday. And they play at home on Wednesday. Lori Barnes and Tracy Sabine will help our students in unified sports participate in a 4x100 meter unified relay as part of the OSAA State Track and Field Championships on Friday, May 26th. We wish our unified athletes all the best. Remember, all spring sports events will be held whether the weather permits outdoor <laughs> activities. Also, be sure to check the team's Instagram accounts. Also, check the community newsletter for important information. And if you have anything to add to the upcoming announcements, let us know at wshs.announcements on Instagram or email Mr. Mayor. And remember, it's, it's a, a great, great day, day to be a Titan. Titan. <laughs> no! Yes! No! Yes. Say it! <laughs> Dang it, say it. Okay, scroll down. I don't want to say that. Come on, Shelby, say it. <laughs> I'm trying. Get it out. I'm trying. Okay. Isaac, my mom needs to plan.